that's on the tongue. And I don't need to do my absolute most that I've ever done. So long as I'm doing more than the last session, my body recognizes a pattern of being asked to become stronger. Okay. Most of the time, the periods last 10 days. And that is because by the 10th day, to break records starts to become very difficult. And I don't want it to be difficult. Okay. So sometime around the 10 day mark, I realize that the next workout is going to hurt me. And that's my notice to switch my rep range to 10. So the threes got heavier and heavier and heavier, and I had to switch to tens. Tens, heavier and heavier and heavier, and then the same pattern will happen. By about the tenth day, I'll start to realize that if I do another workout, it's gonna hurt me. It's gonna be too hard. Okay, it's not gonna be efficient. Then I switch back to the threes, and it's light again. And I can do that same waves, and everything is wave up, wave up, wave up. So I wanna ask you, so when you're doing the session, it's like a three reps session for 10 days, and then 10 reps session for 10 days. That's right. And then when you feel fatigued, you back to the three. That's right. So, so it's not, typically not, 10 days in duration. Typically. So never three, five, seven sets, only three sets and 10 sets. No, 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 not sets, uh, reps. Reps, 10 reps. 10 reps. Uh, for 10 days. Yes. And then next set. Three reps. For 10 days. Right. And five sets normally. I normally do five sets normally, but it doesn't really matter. All that matters is your last working set. Out of all these workout tools, I actually I really I don't use any of them. Uh, my stuff is very simple. Uh, I'll use I'll use a strap like this, and I'll and I'll tie it around weight. And a lot of times I'll go from the floor. I'll go off a table, but floor and table is normal. And I do a lot of cut, a lot of cut. I I don't use this tool so much. Because I think that uh, there should be a separation between cupping and gripping. Whereas this tool teaches you to grip and cup at the same time. It's just my opinion. Uh, I know that you can get great results with this tool, but I, I, I try and be very precise. 但他因为他希望他的训练是更精准的，他认为大家如果用这个器材还是有不不好的效果。Yeah, so in this manner, in this manner, I'm able to beat about six records a day, every single day. Yes. Do, you, do you follow what I'm saying? I don't get it right. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. So so each extra each workout that I do is typically two or three exercises. With the last set of each exercise being a tiny bit heavier than whatever I've done before. And, and normally I only increase by, by one pound. Yeah, and so normally I'll get back to the same exercise maybe once every two or three days, but everything looks very similar. Right, so six six records a day, I'd say, is about normal. Uh, and yeah, you're able you're able to do it. You're able you're able to progress in this way. I, I if you guys have questions on it, I'd love to explain it. There's a lot of workouts that work. Like a lot of methods work. I just know that. For me, I'm 44. I shouldn't have had this good of gains. I had the best gains of my entire life the last year, and I've been running this system. Right. 他说, 根据他的训练系统, 加上他认为说, 他做这么久, 现在44岁, 
他觉得这个成效是非常好。And the biggest difference is that I haven't been working as hard in the workouts. 即使他没有这么拼命的训练，好，把自己弄得很累，但是效果还是非常好。But my graph is much steeper than than it has been in the past years. 但是跟去年或过去相比，他的训练的成效是，他看到的是好的结果，而且比之前还好。嗯，对。他有在做大肌群的训练。Okay, um, uh, my friend, I want to ask, do you do the major core muscle group workouts? For example, squat, deadlift, uh, bench press. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to. I used to. Uh, I, I I grew up doing a lot of different sports. Uh, I used to do judo. I used to run. I used to fight. I used, I was in the military, so I had to be more all around fit. But uh, it's very simple. It, whatever you do, you get better at. It's a very important rule to hold tight. And I have constant. Arguments with other athletes about this particular subject. Uh, it, it's my belief that if someone's doing squats, you only have so much energy in your body. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Ah, 我们身体力量有限的，你如果把你的力气耗在做腿或什么的，基本上你这个部分训练是有限，你就是这么多体力。Yeah. And if I'm consistently training my forearms while other people are training their forearms and their legs, to me, it doesn't make sense. To me, it makes sense that I'm gonna improve faster in the areas that I'm training. Oh, 那另外一个选手他练的下半身又练手，但他只单练手。他认为这个部分因为比较专注，最后的成果一定比较好。And and, I, and I've done it in the past, okay? So I don't want you to think that I haven't tried it. I have. I, 重点，他以前训练很多哦，腿啊，全身啊，然后军事训练啊，然后柔道啦、啊，都做了。不是说没有做，只是现在不做。But I, I think you only have so much energy, and this is important to understand. 那我们的体力能量有限，就应该专注在我们想训练的部分。Yeah, yeah. 那他休息完之后会单单，他训练完之后会单单只是休息，还是要做一些特殊的按摩？ Okay, do you do any like a special exercise for example? Do you do a type of exercise for like a physiotherapy? Not so, not so much. I, I have. Uh, there's a few things. So when I was very young, I experimented with electro uh, EMS, electric muscle stimulation. Uh, failed experiment. Failed. Did you mean like a physiotherapy with electric? Yeah, but I used it more for training purposes. Not so much. He 以前做过的 EMS 是像李小龙一样用电片去刺激肌肉，但不觉得成效非常。Didn't work. 啊，成效不好。I did. Uh, I don't really even do that much massage. I don't even do a lot of stretching. 他个人不太做这些伸展，太多的伸展应该是有哦，还有再过来太多的按摩。The key to me managing my health has been movement and at times returning to balance. Okay, 他认为只要他训练是平衡的。然后呢，跟他前面所提到的说 ，Are you trying to say like the light weight exercise do some kind of rep? Yeah, to so increase the right, muscle. exactly. So when I'm hurt, the the rule for me is when I'm hurt, you have to work with the pain. The the secret to fixing the pain is in the pain. I think Rumi said that. Yes. Ah,、uh, yeah. 他他想强调是说，我们受伤疼痛要去跟想办法跟疼痛相处，所以呢，他会强调说是做很轻的重量。一组做三十次， yeah, 然后去增加协议的循环。You you have to learn the difference between a pain that is telling you that it's making it worse and a pain that's helping you understand your body. 好，更重要是这个疼痛是让我们你要自己去知道判断说是让我们身体状况更糟糕，还是说我们要做一些调整。And, and light weight with a lot of movement, I found is the best way to heal injuries. Um, sorry. Can you mean that lots of movement is like a multiple angles or? Yeah. So well, wherever the pain is. So wherever the pain is, that's the movement that you have to get in and work with. Ah, 如果你觉得某些动作你觉得会有疼痛的时候，我们应该要训练这个部分的肌肉，但是是小重量。But you have to be very careful. 也要非常小心。Yeah. Um. Sometimes it is a balance issue. 当然也是要考虑到平衡，就是在于受伤跟这些训练。A lot of times in the shoulder. 肩膀部分是最大的。
a lot of times arm wrestlers always this way, this way. I find the shoulder can start to get lit up and you have to bring it back. You have to bring the joint back into balance with rear flies, things like that. So do you, sorry, do you use a, like a I have found that uh, there are things that work really well. Um, um, now, probably not for you yet. You're too young. Okay, I'm I'm older. Right. Yeah, sometimes when athletes age, uh, you start to have issues with a little bit of scarring, calcification, you mean a little bit of arthritic changes. Okay. Yeah, I mean scarring like a muscle tissue, like scar tissue. Uh, scar tissue. Uh, oh. Yeah, and these these things can affect, affect your circulation a lot. And the most effective uh, physiotherapy that I've ever done is something called shockwave therapy. Okay. Shockwave yeah, for arm wrestlers, uh, especially older ones, shockwave is a miracle. Alright. So how about PRP? Yeah, I think your blood can come back. I, I haven't done PRP yet, but I've heard that it's great. I've also heard that stem cell is great. Uh, I have a PRP is like a Yeah. But but I know people who have it, had it done and yeah, especially stem cell. But for the most part, just movement. Movement is the key. If if you always the if you if you push fluid what you have to understand is tendons and ligaments need to move to be fed. I don't understand so, the, the so need my to heart, yeah. my heart pushes fluid all around my body, okay, and and my heart can push the fluids into most of the cells, but into tendons and ligaments, it doesn't work like that. 好，他想强调的是说，血液一定会透过心脏去做一些哦输送，但是在于肌腱跟韧带的部分。Yeah, if you want fluids to go through these, you need to move them. Yeah, and without fresh fluids, it'll never heal. Yeah. Yeah, so as an arm wrestler, like I said, the answer is always going to be different. Yeah. I, when you're a more junior arm wrestler, you have a hard table session, you're probably going to be hurt. It's important when you do your physio, when you do your movement, that you don't become an endurance athlete. Uh, explosive acidity? No, endurance. Don't do not become what no, you have to. The problem is, is this style of rehab mm. can shift you to becoming less explosive, and you don't want that. Okay, understand. Oh, 在我们做这些训练桌上练习的时候，不要把自己变成是一个耐力型的选手。你的训练还是要以爆发力为主，因为这是玩力运动。So when you're doing high reps, reps to 30, reps to 50, it's important that you don't go deep into a burn. 但是不要做一组三十五十下的时候，把自己弄到很过劳。为什么呢？因为你就变成是耐力型，你就不是爆发力型。Because this will make your body adapt in a way that you don't really want it to. 啊，然后你身体习惯错误的模式，但不是利于比赛。Strength 啊，永远都是力量。力量的训练至关重要。Yeah. Yeah. Um. Something that I use a lot is just. I don't use this so much, but this is not too bad. This is not too bad. Normally, I just use a straight round handle, different sizes. Uh, I don't like the way that this makes me hold my hand. I like to, when I, when I do my handles, I like to ball up like this. See? So why would, would you prefer to put your thumb under your hand? Because 
this is how I arm wrestle. Right. And whatever you do, you get better at. This is very important to remember. So everything you do, you should try and replicate whatever you're trying to get better. So when, when I arm wrestle on the table, this is how my hand is. Yes. When I arm wrestle practice train, this is how my hand is. 他都会把他的大拇指放到他的手里面。他说，不管是训练的时候，要有意识到说你的这个训练动作跟比赛是相关的。Yeah, I see a lot of people like that's another reason why I don't like this tool. Yeah, you can't put your thumb in. Right, exactly. See, this is this position is never going to happen. It's like this. 他认为这个把训练的时候跟我们真实握把还是不一样，因为我们手并没有办法放进去。Yeah, cupping every day of your life. Cup every day, every day grip, every day pronate, every day rise. You can do it. You can do it and get stronger every single day. 只要你做的量不是太大的话，这三个动作他所提到的应该都有办法每天做。Should we go back to the table and show yes. some technique? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.